Hello students. How are you all? Okay. Okay. My name is Ankita and today I am going to teach and which is an important aspect of English grammar. An important topic. Okay. So before starting the topic, let me um uh let's play a game a game which is you know you are going to tell me which topic we are going to study today yes i'm going to give you some hints okay yes you have to guess right okay so the first hint it is the word which you know shows position yes okay right maybe you are right second it is the word which shows the relationship uh now which shows the relationship of a noun or pronoun with the rest part of the sentence yes exactly and the third hint if i'll give you it uh, you know give answer of three questions when where how yes you all are right perfect so the topic of today is position words which you call them prepositions okay so today we are going to study about or you know we are going to learn about prepositions so the first important aspect is that you should know the basic level of that preposition yes so today we are going to study about simple preposition we are not going to compound and complex part we are just having a first part which is a little bit introduction about preposition fine okay so all of you know uh, you know have you heard about one of the game which says simon says yes all of you heard yes so today we are going to just play a little bit game of simon says and you all of all of you have to do the uh, exact action what simon says okay simon is a a person you know which, which rules the world and you have to do the same exactly yes okay simon says put your right hand on your head yes okay this is the correct action so on that means your head and hand is touching the surface of the hand yes okay the second simon says put your hand under your chin this is my chin all of you are having your chin yes so under your chin right okay i am standing in front of you yes simon says i am standing in front of you so all of you can see that i am standing in front of you so these are the basic words which we use in prepositions in the simple prepositions right i am just going to introduce some of the words here okay the first word is on the second is in the third is uh let's take beside okay and the fourth one is in front of the fifth word is behind which we generally use yes and the sixth word uh, you can choose like in on above okay okay so let's start on where we use on on is a preposition where we use you know when the uh, object of uh, the surface of the object it touches the noun or pronoun for example let's have an example this is the box and the ball is on the box yes the ball is on the box that means the ball is touching the surface of the box then we use on take any other example like the cat is sitting on the table the cat is sitting on the table okay that means the cat is touching the surface of the table yes so the ball is on the table on the box okay the next one is in if i put this 
a ball inside the box. So that means the ball is in the box. The ball is in the box. It is inside that box. So we will use the word in. Let's take an any other example. For example, you can say uh, the fruit is in the basket. The fruit is in the basket. So that means it is inside that basket. Yes. And the third one is beside. Suppose the box is here and the ball is there. Okay. So the ball is beside the box. The ball is beside the box. For example, that my friend is sitting beside me. Yes, this is another example you can use. My friend is sitting beside me. Okay. The fourth one is in front of. Where we use in front of. Okay. For example, I told you in the starting of that video that I am standing in front of you. That means I am standing in front. Matlab samne. So, while taking the example of both these, I'll say this is the box and I'm putting the ball in front of this. Putting the ball in front of the box. That means this is in front of the box. The ball is in front of the box. Yes. Now, the next is behind. Behind at the back. Okay, when you are hiding, when you are standing behind someone like at the back of the someone. For example, let's take the ball and that same thing I'm doing there. So the box is here and the ball is at the back of the box. That means box is there and the ball is behind that box. So what we are going to use the word behind. Behind at the back of that object, noun or pronoun. Right? Okay, the sixth one is the word which is say above. Okay, there is a lot of confusion between on and above. Let me clarify you. It is very easy. Above we are going to use, suppose the box is here and the ball is here. What is the difference between two? So it was, you know, touching the surface, but it doesn't. So the ball is above the box means the ball is not touching the surface of the box. It is above, not on the fixed position. When the position is fixed, when the position is touching the surface, when the object is touching the surface, then we are going to use the word on. Otherwise, when the surface is not, you know, the box and the ball is not getting touched, then we are going to use above. Okay. So, this is for all today. We are just going through with the simple preposition. So, all you should know that recapitulate the previous knowledge of your class. In the next class, we are going to study about the little bit more complex of preposition type. Okay. So, for this time.